one of my clients, he, uh, his mom actually is, is a nutritionist, but um, she reached out to me just because she's known some of the results that my clients have gotten and everything, and she thinks that I was going to work better with her son because her son really needed like a big brother and a motivator. He needed kind of, she knows how like high performance I am, you know, being a pastor, an author, full-time clients, you know, working this, that, and the other, waking up at 4 a.m. and so forth. And so she had basically said, I think that my son needs you in his life. And so he's been working with me. He started at 200 pounds. Keep in mind, this kid is very short. I say kid, he's, he's, he's you know, 25, he's a young guy. Um, but he's only like 5'5", five, five, you know, so 5'5", five, five doesn't work out, and you're 200 pounds, I mean, you're, you're pretty heavy, you're, you're a heavy set young man, and uh, unhealthy too, cholesterol, his blood work was a little off when he sent it to me, and so we're, we're six weeks in, and I had, you know, dropped like 12 pounds of weight off of him, but I was telling him every week, I said, listen, um, your weight is not dropping the way it should be. I go, if you were lean, that's one thing, but you have enough body fat where honestly you should be dropping two pounds a week and, you know, three pounds, four pounds a week on certain weeks. And so I noticed some weeks there was one week he dropped like five pounds the first week. Then after that, it was just like not really losing weight, maybe one or two pounds here or there, whatever. So I would message him and I would tell him four weeks in a row, four weeks in a row. I said, hey, so-and-so, I know, you, I know something's off right now, whether you're adding oil to your foods, whether you're not working out, whether you're snacking, whether you're, you're doing something off. I've done this for 15 years. I've worked with too many clients. I know something's off. But he wasn't telling me what was off. Well, you know, lo and behold, his mom reaches out to me and texts me the other day, about two weeks ago actually, said, hey, Nick, can we get on a phone call? I said, sure. So we get on a phone call and she says, Nick, my son is doing things that I don't think is on your program. And when I asked him about it, he says, don't worry, he's able to do that. And I said, okay, well, what is it? She said, well, he's eating this, this, and this, and then he's drinking like three times a week during the week. And I said, no, that's not in his program. In fact, he never tells me that, but I knew something was off. So she said, I, I said, listen, I take it very easy on your son because I don't want to push him and drive him away. So I try to motivate him very gently. She goes, no, Nick, I need you to chew him out. <laughs> so I said, okay, no problem. So I call him the other day. And I tell, and I, and I gave him like a 30 minute, I put the hammer on this kid. And he told me, he said, Nick, not only did I put the hammer on him, I like totally drilled in my mindset program to him, but I also spoke life into him. And I said, Hey, you know, I won't say his name, but I said, Hey, so-and-so, you know, I'm so hard on you because I see the potential in you, you know, and I do see the potential in him. And I said, but you've never had somebody be very hard on you, and that's your issue. You've been spoon-fed your whole life. That's why you're complaining and thinking that meal prepping is hard. You think meal prepping is hard, you're never going to be able to make it in life. You have a girlfriend, and you have this, that, and the other, and you want to build a family, and you're not showing the work ethic to be able to love her very well, to be able to be there for her, to be able to make the finances that you need to support your family, to do this, that, and the other. If you can't wake up at a certain time, and you can't meal prep, how are you going to take care of a kid? How are you going to take care of your wife? How are you going to do these different things in life? And I just went 30 minutes just drilling him. And when we were done, he said, Nick, nobody's ever spoken to me like that. And nobody's ever spoken this much life into me before. Nobody's ever seen this much potential in me. And I said, well, I do. And he goes, this is such a motivator. And so he just sent me his update. He sends me his weekly update. He, he said, Nick, you know, this is my week seven update. He goes, first of all, I want to apologize to you for not being truthful with my updates with you. I'm very, very sorry about all of this. He goes, after we had that talk, I really took a day to let that all sink in, and it was a huge motivator for me. So I got back on track with everything. He goes, with all of my going off track, I got up to 190 pounds. This week, after being on your program perfectly, my weight has dropped down to 184 pounds. So now he's lost almost 20 pounds, and he lost six pounds this week because he just jumped back on my program. But you know, this is what I talk about. It's about the mindset. I have mindset programs in my tier two and three programs where every week I meet one-on-one -on -one with my clients and I drill mindset things into them. And I, t and I remember telling him, I said, I won't, like I said, I'm not gonna say his name, but I said, so-and-so with me so far, you've lost about 13 pounds. I said, do you know that your friends will deceive you? 
I said, your friends will tell you, wow, dude, that's awesome. You've lost 13 pounds. You're doing so good. Do you want to know what I'm, te- I'm going to tell you? That's a bunch of crap. Why I'm going to tell you it's a bunch of crap is because I know that you should have lost 20 by now, but you're only putting 50% of the work ethic in. You see, if you're putting in 100% work ethic, I'm going to cheer for you. But if I know you're only putting in 50%, why would I cheer you on? You're shorting yourself. You're shorting your family. You're short. Not only that, your family is the one that paid for your program with me. So you're wasting their money and you're wasting my time because you're lying to me. And so I said, I'm going to make you raise higher. And so I started speaking to him because he has trouble even waking up before like 8 a.m. And I said, look, man, I said, if you listen to me and you come under me for a year, let me tell you what's going to happen in a year. I said, you're going to be so transformed physically. You're going to be so confident with your body. You're going to walk into your work. You're going to own the place. You're going to own every room you walk into. And in six to 12 months, you're going to call me because I wake up at 4 a.m. In six to 12 months, you're going to be such a motivated young man. You're going to call me at 3 a.m. and say, Nick, I'm already up having my coffee. Wake up. Quit being lazy. You're the one that's going to be pushing me. That's the stuff that I see in you. And that's whenever he said, Nick, nobody's ever spoken this life into me. Nobody's ever seen this potential with me. So you've got to speak this life into your clients and be able to see these results. But it's these things right here. People wonder why I love what I do. I see people's lives transformed in and out. The training in nutrition for me is only the gateway drug to succeed your entire life with your relationships, your finances, your job, everything. So I just use it as a tool to get your life in order, to get you to wake up at certain times, get your relationships in certain orders. And then I begin to see the fruit in every other area of your life. So this is an awesome update.